Hello YouTube! In this video I will be bringing back the posh bastard accent that I can perform in order to show you who has hacked Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2 trophies. Now how do I know that they have hacked the trophies? Well, these people share the same save data. Some have already been flagged for the trophy list, others are yet to be flagged, but they will be flagged. Do not worry. So anyway, in order to prove this, I will find the ninja records that they used. Now, although they are on the leaderboard, that does not mean that they legitimately submitted that score to the leaderboard. Because when you use a save data for this game to hack trophies, you must perform various act. You must. Sorry, I apologize, it's late. But anyway, you must perform various actions in order to unlock a trophy, such as complete one mission to get the all mission successfully completed trophy and to complete a chapter to complete to get the trophy for completing that chapter so yes although these people have legitimate looking timestamps they just prepared the timestamps but after you complete a mission or chapter the game will give you an option that says do you want to update a record of your results? And after they choose yes to that option, their scores get added to the leaderboard. Although they did not complete every chapter or mission, scores for missions they did not complete will still show up on the leaderboard. However, it is no coincidence that a huge group of people have managed to keep the same save data and share it and they all have the Platinum, so unless they can prove that they are a competent player of this game, I believe that they should be flagged for the trophies. So anyway, let's get into it, and I apologize for having such a long intro. Okay, yes, see you later. Well, first, I'm going to explain that I will show the date of the Platinum, and it will show you who has hacked the Platinum. The first account is DJ Boss 6 Now this is the first achiever that I found who uses this save data. And that is basically, he's probably the person that shared the save data in the first place. Now we're going to move on to the other people. Stay tuned. Throughout this video, I will be using Chapter 17 as a reference point to show you that their scores for each difficulty setting on Chapter 17 is the exact same, and there is no way to control this. You cannot see your score or your time during a chapter, so it cannot be coincidental that they all got the exact same score and you can look at these chapters in particular you can look at every chapter because I will show it in this video anyway here we go this is a look into DJ Boss 6's ninja records that's his weapon usage rate missions Well, the thing with team missions is that people can complete them together and get the same time and score. But when you have this many people who do the missions like this, you know it ain't, it's not legitimate. So yes, weapons. Kills with females. Uh, this... This shit isn't working very well, of course, the ninja records. It's not actually showing everything. Okay, here's the chapters. So yes, chapter 1 scores, 
Chapter 2, Chapter 3, Chapter 4, Chapter 5, Chapter 6, Chapter 7, Chapter 8, Chapter 9, Chapter 10, Chapter 11, Chapter 12, Chapter 13, Chapter 14, Chapter 15, Chapter 16, and Chapter 17. Now, for Chapter 17, I will just stay here for about 20 seconds, just so you can look and glance and see that these people have the same scores. Now, because D. Dassey has completed Chapter 17 twice on Acolyte difficulty and Mentor difficulty, his score could have improved from the save data that he sent around to people. But it doesn't matter. They will have the same score on Warrior and same time on Warrior and the same score on Master Ninja and the same time on Master Ninja. Now, if you are really curious, you can simply pause the video at any moment and see that these people have the exact same scores. And this is their projectiles and everything. I'm going to assume that all these people will share the same longest sprint across water, which is also something that you cannot track independently unless you rub band. Longest sprint across water. You can sprint across water forever with a turbo controller, but it doesn't matter because while you're sprinting you cannot exactly pinpoint that you have done 153 meters of running across water. So yes, it's okay. But yeah, now we'll move on to the next person. Okay, the first person that I have found who shares the same save data as DJ Boss 6 is the Visored 34. This person actually asked me for help with the team missions when he was working on this Platinum, but he failed miserably by not being able to maintain Rachel's twirl, which caused a somewhat lengthy argument through text. And now it seems that because I deleted him for failing missions and being an incompetent partner with me, he decided to go and hack the Platinum. So here we go. Right. That's the general information, like obliterations, ultimate techniques, Izuna drops, guillotine throws, and maximum combo. If you really want to compare the two with DJ Boss 6, then you can go ahead and pause the video, but I'm going to move quickly. Nimpo usage. Weapon kills once again. Highest hit combo with those weapons. Female characters. And female maximum combo. Now here's the missions. Once again you can see they are basically identical to each other. Identical to what DJ Boss 6 had. But yes, you can play co-op. But he's not the only person that shares this save data. So you'll see that they almost have identical mission data as well. Okay, here are the chapters. Chapter 1, Chapter 2, Chapter 3... I won't say it anymore, I will just scroll down. If you really care enough, you can pause the video. But I will show Chapter 17, of course because he will very likely have identical Chapter 17 data. Okay, here we go. Now this time, 
he completed chapter f warrior chapter two oh chapter 17 apologies it's just the second one down but he completed it a second time but you can still see that he shares the same master ninja scores on chapter 17 as dj boss six now he probably did warrior chapter 17 to simply unlock the trophy but yes and we can show you the other information and you can see once again he shares the same longest sprint across water with dj boss six now of course a lot of the records are going to be the same however they are defining things having the same longest sprint across water and having the same chapter 17 master ninja score in chapter challenge mode so anyway yes in the description i will try to list as many things that i see similar to the save data but these are just the quickest things i can look upon Here's the next person, Mujukan Specter. Hopefully I said that correctly, but it doesn't matter. He has also shared the save data that D. Darcy, aka DJ Boss 6, yes, DJ Boss 6 is D. Darcy's old account. But anyway, yes, Mujukan Specter. He's another person that I helped with a few missions, who ended up being an incompetent partner who did not listen to what I said during Ultimate Ninja 2, and it's, it's funny that I found him on the Ultimate Ninja 2 leaderboard, but anyway, let's get into it. General information, once again. Quick glance upon that. Nimpo usage. Weapon kills. Weapon maximum combos. Female characters. And the maximum combo with those females. Yes, this was kills with females anyway. Team missions. And you can see most of the times and scores for team missions are the same among all three of these saves. That's no coincidence. They are having a laugh if they really think that I'm so stupid to believe that they did these missions together. The three of them. This game is two-player co-op. You can't add a third person to your lobby. Yes, there we go. Scores and times. Pretty much identical for team missions. And the chapters. So I'll just scroll down to chapter 17. But yes... You can still pause the video if you really want to see every score that each person has. Here we go again. Now, Mujukan Spectre has a different score for, for the Warrior difficulty. But you can see, once again, they share the three of them, they all share the same score for Master Ninja Chapter 17 in Chapter Challenge. So yes, take that in, because I'll be moving on. And yes, they also share the same longest sprint across the water. So yes, obviously this was DJ Boss 6's save data. And we'll be moving on. Last but certainly not least, Monox 18. Now, the thing with this person is, I actually helped him with Ninja Gaiden 3. So. After playing that with him, I believe that Monox18 may deserve a chance to explain himself, because he certainly was not an incompetent partner on Ninja Gaiden 3. 
So it's possible that he actually used this save data after getting the platinum legitimately. He can explain himself he did claim that he did these missions as Ryu, so I mean, I think he might deserve a second chance, but I'm still showing him anyway. But I mean, flag him, but let him explain it, I think. But yes, this is the general records. Nimpo usage rate. Weapon use. Weapon maximum combo. Rachel, Momiji and Ayane kills. And the maximum combos with those females. And of course, team missions. Now the thing that intrigues me here is the fact that Monox 18 has completed Ultimate Ninja 1 an eighth time, whereas the other save data from the two, I mean three previous people, have Ultimate Ninja 1 cleared seven times. So I mean, he has actually continued to make progress over on this save, so it is possible that he really did simply want to continue playing the game with a save after he got the plan. But it is a weird scenario, but anyway, time for the chapters. And once again you can see chapter 17 on Master Ninja same score, same time. But you can pause the video and whatever you want. And yes, same longest sprint across the water. Once again, no surprises there. So yes, Monox 18. And that is it for now. There are other people I have found that share that save. However, they have been flagged for this game already. But if they decide to dispute the flag that happened on their account, I do not mind showing that they share save data with around four different people. So yes, thank you for watching. And something I must say is that I do not have any hatred towards these people. I simply believe that they do not deserve to have a platinum in their trophy collection that they did not complete legitimately. Of course I expect dislikes for this video and this voice is relatively difficult to continue but it's all good. I'm relatively satisfied with the video. It will be a lengthy video so you will just have to skip to various parts of the video to see who you want to see. I will leave that in the description anyway. Thank you for watching and stay tuned to regular content on my own channel that hopefully is not like this. Although I really do not take YouTube seriously and that's why I'm a gentleman. I want to let these people off the hook with a more relaxing and calm tone rather than my regular voice. So anyway, thank you for watching and I will see you later.